We'll begin tonight with my favourite young British director, Shane Meadows. He's Ken Loach with jokes, he's a new Mike Lee. Shane's methods are like nothing short of genius. In the world of cinema, few directors possess the ability to capture the raw essence of human existence quite like Shane Meadows. From gritty urban settings to quaint rural landscapes, Meadows' films delve deep into the human experience, unearthing emotions, struggles and connections that resonate universally. Let's take a closer look. In some films, characters are only mere conduits for the plot. However, Meadows' characters are vessels of raw emotion, each with their own quirks, flaws and dreams. The complexity of the personalities of the characters are revealed as they are tested throughout Meadows' films with the motif of the battle between belonging and isolation. His characters often navigate the thin line between fitting in and being cast out. Arguably Shane Meadows' most famous film, This Is England, is a prime example of this. How many people can you fit in a minute? I don't fucking know how many. Three in the back, two in the front, and your fucking dad in the ashtray. <laughs> As the main character Sean faces isolation due to being bullied by his classmates, he finds belonging in a group of local skinheads. Sean, I'm Woody, mate. Nice to meet you. That there's Milky, my main man. Pukey is a bit of a nutcase, don't worry. As the subcultural movement struggles with the conflicts arising from racism and violence, leading to the bullying and isolation of the ethnic minorities they encounter. However, this is paralleled with the evolving sense of family in the movie, as Sean becomes absorbed within the group and the cultural movement even leading to the group's connection growing further throughout the subsequent sequel television series. In A Room for Romeo Brass, we see the friendship of two boys is put through its paces as an eccentric stranger enters their world. Well, it wasn't fucking funny, was it? Huh? I don't... With Summerstown being another tale of childhood companionship, as their friendship also faces certain challenges. In Dead Man's Shoes, Richard returns home from the army to a small town in the Midlands where he grew up to find that his younger brother Anthony has been tormented by a group of locals and Richard seeks revenge. I'm going to have to go back to town in a bit, mate, to sort some business out. At first, the group played with him, made him feel included, ensuring a sense of belonging within him, only for them to turn it against him. Here we see the contrast between destructive belonging that Anthony endures and the angry, vengeful isolation of Richard. All these films show us the range between belonging and isolation, and how his characters struggle to find a comfortable balance. Meadows' films are a testament to the strength of the human spirit. His characters inspire us to persevere, no matter the odds. By portraying characters who confront their demons and find the courage to move forward, Meadows empowers his audience to confront their own challenges and renew a sense of hope. Go on, have a go at that. Whoa, what do you reckon? Come on, give me it, give me it, give me it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Mm. Immediate thoughts. It's an interesting one, mate. Immediate, yeah, yeah, yeah. immediate thoughts, come on. Don't think about Maybe, it too uh, much. By, by, by and time period. <laughs> <laughs> by and time period. I'll give you a clue, man. Italy. Italy. Meadows also injects his own style of humour into his films, using it as a juxtaposition to the harsh realities that the characters are enduring or the conflicts slash obstacles they have to manoeuvre. This not only acts as comedic relief for the audience, but also serves the character's ability to stay positive and that they have their friends and or family keeping them smiling throughout. This along with a consistent sense of togetherness and camaraderie is what makes Meadows' films feel so personal. One of those for you, my name is Harvey. <laughs> Meadows' films are often characterised by their gritty, almost documentary style aesthetics. Notice the use of handheld camera work, emphasis on natural lighting and the choice of authentic locations. This is the defining style of realist films, enabling the audience to step into the shoes of his characters, experiencing their challenges firsthand. This realist cinematic style in Meadows' films complement the themes expressed in the stories of his films, as he consistently depicts the everyday life of young men living in Britain. A 
Another defining aspect of Meadows' work is his masterful use of music. In place. From indie rock in Dead Man's Shoes, to reggae in This Is England, music becomes a narrative tool, heightening emotions and evoking a sense of time and place. Meadows' deliberate selection of songs not only enhances the viewing experience, but also embeds the film's atmosphere deep within the audience's memory. His music not only sets the tone for his films, but also acts as a portal to immerse the audience in the social environment of the time that the film is set. What makes Meadows' films so unique is their semi-autobiographical conjuring, as each film's writing are influenced by, or even the retelling of stories from Shane Meadows' youth. I think, I think Mean Streets was the film that, that made me really truly want to make a film because I, I'd always had this ability to sit in a pub or sit with a group of friends and relay stories from where I'd grown up and, and make people laugh or, you know, and tell people some of these mental things that kind of gone on in my life. It's um, kind of, I can remember all the depravity. Much like Scorsese's Mean Streets, Meadows recounts the tales of the small-time crooks that he grew up with and the deviant adventures that they embarked on. Mike, you're really some, you know that? What's the matter? You're too good for this $10, huh? You're too good for it. It's a good $10. These people I've got are nowhere near as cool as De Niro and Keitel, but ultimately it made me think I've maybe got something that's individual to me, because all these people at college were doing, you know, writing versions of Reservoir Dogs, writing versions of, you know, these films, Man Bites Dog, and it's just a, just a poor rip-off of something that they loved. Meadows' rejection of genre, cliche, or ripping off other films is what makes his stories so unique. The other girl like hot cakes. Do you oh, want to try one on? Shall we try? I fuck you want there. If you no. swear, I'm sorry what about that. He was famous for improvised scenes and allowing actors freedom within their performance for maximum authenticity. He also utilised minimalist filmmaking as to not interrupt on the actors and to not let the filmmaking process intrude on the story that they are telling. Me and Paddy said, what would happen if you just put down all your raw ideas and actually followed them through from that very first. So we had one two week writing session and then made a film literally in a minibus with a, with a, a group of cast, a cameraman and a guy with a mic, no lights. We went round and we made a film together. He would also use creative methods to achieve a realistic performance from his actors. Take this scene for example, when the characters are spiked with LSD and begin to feel the effects. Meadows asked the actors to stay awake for days on end as the psychological effects of sleep deprivation are similar to being high on psychedelic drugs. Along with experimental editing and sound design, the results are uncomfortably realistic and immersive to how the characters must be feeling. Shane Meadows' films are a mirror reflecting the diverse faucets of human existence. Through his exploration of universal themes, his distinct visual style, and his unique methods of filmmaking, Meadows has carved a niche for himself in world cinema. We not only witness the lives of his characters, but also catch a glimpse of our own experiences, struggles, and aspirations. And in that connection lies the enduring magic of Shane Meadows' films. Subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.